Okay, right now, I'm in Aldi. And my friend at work just sold me an idea of this amazing thing called a soup maker. Apparently, you can just throw the ingredients in, leave it, and it blends, mixes, heats, and keeps food hot without you having to do anything. So, here it is. So I'm going to get one, take it home, and see if it lives up to the hype. Let me know if you think it will or not. Okay, I've got the soup maker here. So I'm just going to nip round and get some ingredients to make some soup. So, let's have a look. I'm going to get some carrots. Next, I'm going to get some... Leeks, carrot, leek, and potato soup. How about that? And get some potatoes. We've got best value 65p. Carrot, leek, potato, and then I'm just going to get some vegetable stock over here. Vegetable stock. So Try. I think I'll try these ones. I'm gonna try some noor. Anything else? I'm just gonna keep it simple. So, so far, it's a bit of vegetable stock, leeks, potato, carrot, and my soup maker. Let's make ourselves some soup. I think we know. Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now, I am well excited because I've got an unboxing. This is an impulse buy, it's a soup maker. I, a few hours ago, I didn't even really know this thing actually existed. I was in my classroom, uh, end of the day, the kids had gone home, and one of the cleaners was in, and they were saying, oh, what we've been making today, there's some carrots on the floor in the food room, because today in school, I was making, uh, the kids were doing knife skills and they were using carrots to and batonet and different types of, of, of cuts of carrots or vegetables. So there were some carrots on the floor and she asked me, had we been making soup? I said, no. And she started talking about soup. Now she uh, had a soup maker that she didn't use and she gave it to her daughter. Her daughter's been making like bear soups and it's like, apparently the soups are really, really amazing. Now, this is what she said. She said, soup make makers are awesome because all you have to do is throw the ingredients in, bit of water, bit of stock, leave it and it'll make the entire soup for you. That means that it'll, it'll cook it, blend it, and even keep it hot all inside the one device. Now, previously to make a soup, you'd need at least a good size, a good size pot, a sauce, saucepan, uh, to cook it, watch it so make sure it doesn't bubble over. Um, then you've got to you know, flavor it, this, that, or the other, and then maybe blend it at the end. It's, a, it's, it's not a massive palaver, but hey, Apparently, with this, it's, I don't know how long it's meant to take, we'll go for it in a minute, someone said about 20 minutes, that'd be awesome. But you throw your stuff in, put some water in, walk away, come back in, let's call it half an hour, 45 minutes, whatever, and you've got delicious piping hot soup. Sounds a bit too good to be true. It does a little bit, but I'm all in now, because I bought one. I went out and bought one straight after work, because I was so excited about the idea of just having soup in, in like, a, with, with no effort. Um, so. I haven't even opened it yet. Let me get a knife. Open this thing up. Okay. So to begin with, in the top part, we have a power cable. Nothing unusual there. Just a regular power cable. Not on life, but is in uh, the kettle. I'll just put that to one side. Take this out of the way, Pass diary. And here we are. Oh. Mm. Try again. Here we are. Oh, actually, it's the top part of it. Mm. So here we have a, clearly a blade, which is designed to blend. Not quite sure exactly how this works yet. There's like um, a 
digital display or some description where you put timings or what have you in the top. And then underneath we have this part here. Okay, so this is the base. It says a maximum of uh, 1.6, uh, 1,600 milliliters, which is 1.6 liters, which is quite a decent capacity, that. So, I mean, this is a, if you're looking at a regular kettle, this kettle holds, I'm not quite sure how much it holds. I think it holds two liters or 1.5 liters. So you get an idea, it's, it's quite a substantial thing. I think it comes up to about, about halfway because obviously you've got the top part mechanism as well. So it probably ends up holding similar amount to maybe a kettle. All right. Now I could do the man thing and not look at any instructions and just see what happens, but let me, let me see. Let me actually read some instructions and see how this thing works properly. Do not immerse in water. All right, got the idea. Okay, so I'm just about to sort out my ingredients. Now, because I don't know, exactly how this is going to come out. It's going to come out good, but I don't want to waste a shed load of ingredients. So I'm just going to make a very basic soup. I'm going to have one leek, two potatoes, one carrot, and I've got some vegetable stock here. I'm using a, a Noor vegetable flavor pot thing, all right? So chop them up, throw them in, add in a bit of water. See what we end up with. In a minute. Okay, I've chopped up my veg, and now it says to put your veg in. But I was just wondering, it said, this is the amount of water you put in, and this is quite a lot of water. This looks almost like a, almost a litre and a half. I'm trying to think if this is enough vegetables or stock for that. So I'm, going to, I'm experimenting a little bit. I may add a little bit more stock or some more flavouring according to how much water I think ultimately goes in here. But first thing, I'm going to put the vegetables in, and I'll take a have a look. So I've got my carrots, my potato, just chopped, all chopped roughly. Ah. A tip it says to add a little bit of olive oil at the bottom to prevent starchy vegetables from sticking. So there you go. So I'll put a little olive oil at the bottom, stop the vegetables from sticking perhaps. Right, I'm just gonna throw the veg in. Now the whole point with this is that it's not meant to um, to be have the same kind of hassle as actually making soup. So Meant to be much quicker. So so far, oh, it's not too, not too bad. My vegetables fill up to just about the minimum mark as suggested. So here we can see my vegetables are in. Comes about halfway now. Where my finger is, there are two markers. One that says minimum, one that says ma maximum. Minimum, maximum. So it says you put your ingredients in, so it doesn't exceed that. And then the water uh, cannot exceed um, the maximum, which is which is there. So I'm going to pour water in until it fills up to that level. So I've got two, um, what are they called? What are they called? Ah, two vegetable stock pots from Nord. They, they smell delicious actually. Into that, I'm just gonna put a bit of garlic. And some mixed herbs. Right, that's all the soup making I wanna do. Next, I have got to turn this thing on. Okay, I've had a good look at the, well, I've had a sort of look at the instructions and it kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna put this in here, if I can. Okay. Uh, plug it in. Now, let's see about mode selection. It says smooth, chunky juice blend. Okay, so I'm going to say smooth. All right, by the looks of it, I've selected smooth. All I need to do now is press on, and then it'll start the cooking time, and the count time will count down. It should take about 21 minutes. All right, so I think it might do some blending automatically. If you want to blend it more, you can go to the blend setting. Ah, right, let's see what happens. Oh, I can hear it. Can you hear it? Add the heat up like a kettle. Oh, this is exciting. This is very exciting. So we're gonna come back in about 21 minutes and we'll see what we end up with. So 
Sounds like it's blending. Okay. Let's have to see the big reveal. So I'm gonna take the lid off. Now remember, we just, we just put in raw ingredients. Let's open the lid just 20 minutes later. Oh wow. This looks like soup, people. It smells like soup. Let's plate this up and see what we're dealing with. That's a nice, thick, that smells awesome soup. All right, so here we are. My favorite part, obviously, the eating. So, we have, without a doubt, visually, we have soup. It looks good. It's blended really smoothly. Smoother than I've ever blended a soup before. I've got some toast made from some homemade wholemeal bread. But the proof of the pudding is always in eating. Let's see what this thing tastes like. It's blended, it's cooked. This is amazing. I've not had to watch over it, not have to watch over the stove to see if it's bubbled over, double checked, gone out and got another whisk, whisked it, the mess. So I think that I could just put everything in one container, put some water in and walk away and come back and I've completely done soup. It's almost too good to be true. So let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Customer Grace. Dear Father, thank you for this good food. Amen. All right, take. It's piping hot as well. So it's piping hot soup. That is delicious. That could be one of the best soups I've ever made. Wow. And of course, how your soup comes out is largely dependent on the ingredients you use. But in terms of, this is what the, these are things we can judge. Obviously, a different recipe of soup will give a different flavour, which you may or may not like. So that's, that's variable the ingredients. What is unequivocally successful with this is that it's hot, it's smooth, everything's cooked well. And that's, the, that's really the, the, the mission of, 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 um, of making soup. Now, of course, you can try various recipes, but this, a simple recipe of the potato, leek, um, potato, leek, carrot, with some uh, vegetable stock, Bit of garlic, bit of herbs. Mm. That is a delicious soup. I'm really excited about the product. That's one of the best products, food products I've ever used. I feel like George Foreman when, he, when he's got the, the grill. I'm so proud of it. I put my name on it. Well, I'm so proud of this particular soup maker. I'm gonna put my name on it. Food tech. This is a, this is. I'm gonna call it a food tech 101 soup maker. Maybe we'll catch on, maybe they make a little contact me after to, uh, to promote it, you know. But I'm so proud of it, I put my name on it. That is a fantastic product. Now obviously, over time we'll make different things and we'll see if we can make different types of soups and stews and other things. And obviously, obviously we have to see as well how durable it is, so how long lasting is it. But for now, just as a product, I, all I did was throw through ingredients into uh, something not much bigger than a kettle, put some water in, walked away, and it did everything for me. No mess. And it even keeps it hot. Absolutely fantastic. Get yourself a soup maker. I'll put a link to this particular one. I got this particular one from Aldi, but there may be others around, so I'll have a look around to see if there's others. I could, I'll look at the design, I can tell if there are others that are just the same but branded differently. But this is. The thing with Aldi, which is a little bit of a downfall, is that if you see it now, you have to go now because tomorrow there'll be no trace or no sign that they were ever in the shop ever at all and they may never come back. I bought lots of things in Aldi and you go back the next day and think, oh, I'll get another one of them, go back. There's not even, even the aisle where the things were has disappeared. So if you want one, you gotta go and get one quick. So I'm gonna post this probably the same day. So this is the day is in September. And if you see it, run down to your local Aldi. If not, you might be able to get one online. But for me, I'm gonna have my dinner now. Absolutely fantastic product. At Food Tech 101, and go all out. 10 out of 10, it's that good. Ah!